Well, the Head for the Hills Walk is designed to give community members an opportunity to walk one of the evacuation routes without experiencing any of the stress that maybe a full-scale exercise would cause them to experience. So what we've done is we have community members register here and get a backpack and they walk the 200 line evacuation route. Along the route we have some booths set up that provides them with a item for their emergency kit that they can build as they walk the route. So we'd give them such things like a emergency poncho, a blanket, an emergency food bar, a water pouch. Uh, we had a roll of toilet paper, a garbage bag, so just some practical items that they could use to build a family emergency kit and then they can add things to that um, as they want to, but it kind of just gives them a little kickstart to help uh, raise the level of preparedness in our community. If you want them signed. Oh yeah. You can make clothing. You can make this. You can make a bar. You can make a bar. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Right, we convene it so we just picked up the toilet paper at the last Oh yeah, see, now you can make a toilet. <laughs> For a Cascadia event, we have probably about 35 to 40 minutes here in Nia Bay before the first tsunami wave would arrive. Uh, we're, we generally tell people that they're going to have to most likely walk rather than drive due to the uh, earthquakes effects on the local roadways with downed power lines, downed trees. So this gives them an opportunity to practice walking it so they can know how long it would take them and also if they need to, you know, maybe do a little uh, personal preparation physically to, to be prepared to, to walk the tsunami evacuation route.